yesterday's uh, Jick Bree. We have hit 100 hospitalizations uh, for COVID-19 uh, cases. Mm-hmm. Uh, and this is spread throughout the uh, different hospitals on the island. Mm-hmm. Last night it was uh, 84 over at GMH with, right. I believe, 11 in ICU. But again, uh, things always change. And so that's why um, we really appreciate Lillian uh, taking the time to join us to give us uh, the latest uh, census. Good morning, Lillian. Good morning. Good morning, Chris. Good morning, Sabrina. Good morning, Jason. And good morning, Guam. Yes, our census has picked up uh, this morning. We are up to 86 now. As you mentioned, yes, uh, our census yesterday was at 84. We've had a couple of individuals that uh, continue to come into the emergency room. And so a couple of them had to then be admitted uh, because of the oxygen saturation levels and for further management and uh, continuous observation. So we have 86 individuals in the house. 14 of those 86 are on ICU level uh, uh, status of care. Of the 14, four of them are on ventilator support. At the CIF, we have 13 uh, individuals that we have transferred. We've actually transferred a total of like 67 uh, COVID individuals to the CIF since we opened it up in uh, October, on October 9. Many of those have gone home. Many of those have, uh, some of them have been uh, discharged to the uh, ISOFAC, uh, uh, government-sponsored ISO facility. So there's great progress there. Have you had any that have had to return from the SIF back over to GMH? We've had some. Uh, I think probably maybe a handful, like probably around five or six, have had to come back uh, because of uh, their oxygen level uh, has dropped, desaturated, and so they've been brought back to the acute site and put back on, uh, you know, a higher flow of oxygen, uh, supplemental oxygen. Mm-hmm. And, you know, we've noticed a lot of uh, activity and you kind of touched on it uh, last week about uh, the tents that were going up and uh, the tent, one of the tents, the Blue Med tents, it actually uh, uh, was brought up by uh, the help of the Guam National Guard. So, correct. Yeah, right. You anticipating yes, any the more? Guam National Guard, sorry. Do you foresee another tent going up? Well, that's the plan. Uh, we put up the first Blue Met tent in right outside of the, uh, right at the Bay Area of the emergency room where the ambulance pulls in and it's, you know, under the awning, the uh, overhang, so it, it gives it that protection. So that was um, erected by the Air Guard and the National Guard uh, teams. And so um, we've got it pretty much ready uh, to be occupied. We're just now waiting for a uh, like a sink to be installed, a utility sink. Um, but the Blue Med tent comes with a, in the package of 10 beds. However, the 10 beds that came with it was kind of like narrow. And, um, you know, we were concerned that it may not, um, you know, hold patients for long. And it's not that, it doesn't look that comfortable because it's got a thin mattress. So we've replaced it with uh, what they call fast beds. It's got a thicker uh, mattress and it's a little bit more sturdier so we've got eight beds in there because a little bit wider so we couldn't fit 10 we, we were only able to fit eight in there and so we've got it already pretty much fitted with the crash cart uh you know all other um, and it has an ante room so that the staff can do a, can don their ppe so we're just now waiting for our team, uh, FM team, to get that uh, utility sink uh, in place. The second Blue Met 10, is, we're planning to get that um, up, uh, if not today, then maybe tomorrow, in the doctor's parking lot uh, Bay Area, uh, the drive through area. Again, it's going to be protected by, um, you know, within that uh, structure. Um, so we're looking to see, you know, when that can, when that will be. Um, um, put up because uh, we need to make sure that it's got the decking uh, and make sure that there's no water that will then, you know, flood that area. Mm-hmm. Those what, are the preparatory work uh, that's yeah. been, uh, you know, uh, yeah. made. Uh, any more uh, uh, nurses from off island uh, coming in? I think the last one you, you mentioned was the 22nd. Right. Most of the ones that we have recently requested, uh, 
I think a total of 19 came in uh, as of Saturday. We're still waiting for some more emergency room nurses. Uh, we requested for 15 ER nurses. That's the next batch that we're waiting for. Cardiac monitoring technicians, uh, we have requested for those. And I, my last conversation with the director Friday was that they were en route, they were transiting through and en route. I haven't heard the latest when they're gonna be arriving on island. So I'm gonna have to follow up with the uh, director um, and our HR, because our HR is the one that's been coordinating and communicating with the uh, staffing solutions uh, agency. Mm -hmm. I wanted to ask about, because uh, we just asked Janella about the congressman. Uh, so he was discharged from the hospital. Was it over the weekend? Was he discharged from the COVID ward? or Because it wasn't really clear on, on that. We was discharged from one of the COVID unit called COVID uh, care unit one. That's what we consider as a COVID. But, you know, um, again, he was just uh, in, a, in a private isolation room right next to the emergency room. And that's care one. Okay. Uh, okay. Uh, any message here, Lillian, to the public before we let you go? Yeah, again, just to continue. Continue the wearing the face mask, com continue the distancing, social distancing as much as possible, and, you know, try to stay home. And if you're at home, you can go outside of your yard and do some physical activity so you're not then, you know, bored and, and confined in the house, but you can certainly go outside of your house in the yard you know, um, get some vitamin D, sunshine, and uh, yes, continue the hand washing, and hopefully that we will get the vaccine soon, uh, and if not the end of this year, then the beginning of next year, and then maybe that can give us uh, some assurance that we can at least, you know, again, get back to a little bit of some normalcy, mm. but yes, please continue um, practicing the social distancing, mask, especially the mask. Yeah. Yeah and hand washing why would you hear about the vaccine you made it sound like we're getting a vaccine for christmas <laughs> well Rege oh, well, yeah, on. reading up in, you know the updates right COVID updates right. there are many different companies that are coming out with the vaccines and hopefully if not the end of this year then the beginning of this uh, next year mm -hmm. well, so we're all looking forward to that vaccine right regeneron's not a vaccine but uh, Dr. Am um was mentioning the possibility that we may get a shipment this week of Regeneron. Is that what you're also? That's hearing? what. Uh, yeah, that's the communication we've been receiving uh, from HHS. That uh, you know, because Guam is on the list for shipment, and uh, we're possibly going to be getting it in what seven to ten days. Okay. How you... much of it we're going to get? We don't know, uh, but you know, we, that's what we're hearing that we will get a shipment of that Regeneron uh, monoclonal antibody mm -hmm. uh, therapeutics, and it uh, it can be administered as an outpatient mm -hmm. um, treatment, and you know, um, that hopefully will prevent people from their symptoms getting worse and, and needing hospitalization. So that, that's another. Uh, hopeful uh, therapeutic treatment that we can get. I just saw on that uh, they halted trials of the uh, Regeneron antibody treatment in seriously ill COVID patients, right? So it doesn't look like that'll be an option for those who are really sick. Okay. Well, it's supposedly to be given, to be administered, you know, within the 72 hour time period um, of your symptoms. And so right. we yeah. haven't, I haven't been able to up on on the latest so you you heard you read that it was halted i'll send it to you okay all righty all righty thank, thank you. you lillian Thanks, uh jay Lillian. jay what do we have here because all of our guests came through the show and we didn't offer i'm so embarrassed oh well uh after lillian we got virtual shoe pal we got all three kinds so you want you want chicken virtual. chicken beef pork or tofu all right. it's okay i went to happy Mart. she went to happy i, I went Mart. and got some uh, shrimp patty <laughs> wow, at Happy Mart. There's a blast from the Thank past. You. Take care. Have a good day. Thank you, Lillian. Bye, Be Lillian. safe. Make sure you get out and vote. Bye -bye. <laughs> Thank did, you. Did you vote already? Oh, right. lost her. Mm. She's like, I'm not saying. <laughs> <laughs> 857. Let's uh, go back into the Zoom room where uh, I know his ears are burning during mass as, uh, <laughs> you know, Senator uh, Will Castro, congressional candidate as well. Uh, just, you just came.